Lekki was a deserted place since creation until 1999 when God gave Lagos to Nimbo. Jo Bukwe. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Special advisor to Governor Samuel on drainage and water engineer Abalanze Newi, better known as Jo Ibukwe, has spoken once again. Joe is a member of our progressive party, APC, and a very loyal person. Wow. It is no longer news that Joe Ibukwe is very loyal to the national leader of his party, uh, the APC, and of course, um, this president's administration. In fact, he is a very, very strange follower. Like, he, he shields them, he fights for them, he defends them. If not for anything, we'll start saying he is a defender of the universe whenever it comes to party issues. So what he's doing now is what he is known for. Sometimes, you know, people ask that. But the way he comes out and he, he posts about all the all progressive congress, are you sure that he's even doing the work the Lagos State government gave to him? Let's find out more about this the news in detail. Please stay with us. In a recent post he made on his verified Facebook page, he praised former governor of Lagos State, Ahmed Bola, for his immense hard work concerning the development of a state. According to the update he made, he wrote, Tinubu turned Lekki to a city. Lekki was a deserted place since creation until 1999 when God gave Lagos Tinubu. Tenembo turned Lekki to a city. Lekki was a deserted place since creation until 1999 when God gave Lagos to Nimbo. This is true. The Jagaban became the governor of Lagos in 1999 and served for two terms, ending his tenure in 2007. It is with no doubt that Bola has contributed massively to the growth of a state. Well, let me say this. It is only in a country where things are normal hmm? that people will come in, especially in country like Nigeria, where the governors do not, they do not, any, any, any gov governor now, or yes, governor will not come in and say, do you know what? I am going to do better than my predecessor. Anybody who, who is going to come into government will say, you, I'm going to ensure that I do more, I do more, I break the record of my predecessor. If governors, governors in Nigeria are like that, I tell you, do you know the, the Nigeria we're going to be having? We're going to be having a very beautiful Nigeria. A Nigeria where infrastructure we are good, power sector we are good. Why? Because every person coming is coming in, in this particular sector, I will outdo my predecessor. I will make him proud. He will be like, ah, Yes, this person that succeeds me, he's really working. That is the kind of people, healthy competition. But because you have not seen it before, we have not seen it before. Whenever somebody comes and do what he is supposed to do, everybody carry the matter on their head. Yes. Had it been this thing now that um, Tudembo did in Lagos, he actually has... As another governor's, like, they live up to it. Do you think that somebody will be coming to use it now to campaign? No. No. It's just like at the end of the day, you are, you are saying you did your job. It's your job. You, work, you came in so that you could better the state. And that is what you did. But unfortunately, in Nigeria, our standards are so low that whoever even manages to even be G, not stock of good, we clap for the person for a very long time. Why? Because we have abnormalities in the place of normalities. Majority of those that hate Enebu are Igbos. I begin to wonder immediately declares the detention to run. They started attacking him from all fronts. And I asked again, did he borrow money from you that he failed to return? Majority of them are more concerned about what is happening in Yoruba than in their own region. For me, Tinubu becoming, becoming next Nigeria president or not is for God to decide. But as for Nigerian, he has every right to contest for anything, leaving me alone and face of rent. What is this one saying? 
<laughs> what is this one saying? John Ibokwe is from the southeastern Nigeria and he's always massaging his boss's ego. I don't think you're getting the point, sir. Tunumbu, also a big economy manager. He proved it when PDP government led by his tribe men withholding Lagos government allocation for close to three years. Tunumbu did not borrow a dime, either here or abroad. And also pay civil servants as has when due. We need to remember the top to regulate our economy and set up the pace the, the way he set up standard in Lagos. God bless Nigeria. God bless Abat. Hmm. Okay, time will tell. Only time will tell. Are you saying that Tenebu is having solutions to Nigeria problems? If so, he is withholding them until he becomes president. He goes to say Tenebu is selfish and he does not have Nigeria's interest at heart. Tin Tayami, no be only you. It's Tayami. Let me say this. For Lagos State, I don't know if they will want it, but for Lagos State, do you know that the former governor of Lagos and the person of Turnbull, he still has a stronghold in Lagos State, which is not supposed to be so. You are supposed to come in. That place is not your father's house. You come in, you serve, and you leave. You leave, when I mean leave, you leave. You are not your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, your relative, your extended family, your relative. They're not supposed to, they're not supposed to, even if the person becomes, by merit, becomes a governor. They're not supposed to be seeing your shadow. But what do we see in Lagos State? The person who is going to be the governor of Lagos State, the person must come from Tunubu. Nigerians. Because I'm not allowed to enter in her eyes, Master Joe, do not worry. Don't even talk too much. Those that are against Tunumbu, we know them. They are Igbo brothers who came to Lagos yesterday. And because the states have blessed them, they think they are big enough to fight and take over the state. It will not work for them. They will come. They would. They would now. Now they want to cause problem. And cause confusion in the state that has blessed them. God Almighty is behind Baba Jagaban, the incoming president of Nigeria. Okay. People should help this man before his madness. <laughs> there is nothing you will preach that will make Nigerians vote him in as president. In fact, his ambition died the day he made it public at the presidential villa. And he knows that. Okay. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.